everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. So is it enrichment or an enriched environment? What's the difference? Let's explore the difference this week between enrichment and an enriched environment. Can you see the difference in this picture? This is our corn snake candy corn and she has both enrichment and an enriched environment as of the moment this picture was taken within her enclosure. Look closely and tell me if you can pick out the items that would be considered part of her enriched environment and if you can pick out the item or items that might be considered enrichment. For the purposes of our work here with snakes and the other animals for that matter, both the sanctuary resident animals and our family animals, Enrichment is something that adds novelty to the snake's life, stimulating the five AZA enrichment categories. And just to review, those are cognitive, dietary, physical, sensory, and social. Enrichment activities or enrichment items must be changed out frequently to assure continued novelty. At the point when something isn't novel anymore and it's no longer of special interest to the snake, it's no longer piquing their curiosity, then it's not enrichment anymore. An enriching environment, on the other hand, is a permanent or semi-permanent state. Enriching environments are daily living conditions that provide options for snakes to choose among different behavioral opportunities, enabling them to exercise their minds and bodies when they decide they want to. An enriched environment provides activity options and environmental stimulation by creating an environmentally complex habitat for the snake to live in without making frequent changes to it. So it's basically just putting tons of stuff in your snake's habitat. So they have lots and lots of different options as to where they want to spend their time, what they want to spend their time doing, and when they would like to do that. And those are things you're not changing out constantly. Those are things that remain the same so that your snake always has those choices. They have their living situation and they can choose what to do when. And they will often pick out favorite spots that they like to be at certain times of the day or night and certain activities or enclosure for machines that they like to use at certain times. Let's review the difference. This is the same snake, but different circumstances. The photo on the left is the photo of the snake in her enriched environment. So she has a very enriched, environmentally stimulating, environmentally complex habitat. She has climbing opportunities, different levels. She has substrate, although it's not visible in this picture. She has a water dish that's big enough to get into and it's textured on the outside. She's got a planter in there. You also can't see it, but she has a humid hide with damp sphagnum moss and she has a cave hide and another hide. And those things all remain the same. She's got more than one perch and she has a real branch in there. Those all remain the same so she can choose to use those different things whenever she likes and she can move around her habitat and make choices as to where she spends time when. The photos on the right are the same snake under different circumstances. She's experiencing enrichment in this photo. It's a novel experience for her, something new, and it could be physically or mentally stimulating. It could also be sensory stimulation because she's on a wooden textured bird perch. She's out of her enclosure, she's in a room with lots of activity, and she's free to climb around. So again, in one picture, she has an enriched environment that is around her all the time, and she's free to use it as she pleases. In the other picture, she's experiencing a novel or new thing. And so it's an enrichment activity that she is experiencing just this one time. And then maybe we might do this again in a few days or a few weeks, but we wanna keep this experience new and interesting for her. 
opportunities to exercise choices within a complex living space all the time versus experiencing novelty now and then to increase stimulation are the difference between enriched environments and enrichment. Now you should be able to see both in this photo and you should be able to pick them out. So look at this photo again and tell me what items in this photo do you think are part of her enriched environment, are part of her habitat, and what item or items in this photo do you think are enrichment for her at this moment? Well, everybody, I hope that cleared things up about the difference between an enriching environment or an enriched environment and enrichment. I appreciate you watching and for your continued interest in animal training and behavior. You can contact me via my website at behavioreducation.org. And until next time, always be kind and love your animals.